everyone welcome to this video where you will be learning about uh, converting your sky character to its uh, binary equivalent in assembly language so let's get started with this i have this file a to b.asm file and uh, the extension is .asm now the thing i'll be writing is the first line that you can see over here is a comment and the second line i'm writing is dot model what is a dot model dot model is a model directive that suggests you about the memory model you will be using in the program i'm using small model small memory model and uh, there are many kinds of model as well tiny huge compact large whatever you want to use you may use here i'm using small and uh, what it provides with me is three logical segments the first one is a code segment second is a data segment and third is a stack segment stack segment is used for the stack implementation of memory locations and uh, the data segment is used for the data part and uh, the code part for the code part code segment is used now the stack segment that is there will be having uh, 100h I can either write it or not write it. It's optional for you. You can skip it. But I am suggesting stack to take this many bytes. Okay. Now the data part is here. And in data part, what I am suggesting? I am suggesting an input string with label. I am suggesting a string that is that is having this label input. And uh, since it's a string, then what will be the type of this string? It will be of DB type. DB is defined byte or data byte. The value of the string is enter an SKI character. And uh, what it has, it will it will be telling the user to enter an SKI character. Okay, and it will be the very first of the pro in the program. So we'll be first printing it. So we don't need anything extra. Uh, what I mean by extra you will be getting it in this one so output is also of DB type it's a string now it can come after getting the input so this should be in the new line so for that I have given this 10 this 10 is for line feed line feed is what for the new line character you can also write 0 ah at this place 10 okay you can uh, give this 13 to move your cursor from anywhere in the line to the start of the line so your uh, string will be printed from the start in the next line using these two things the corresponding hexadecimal code for this is 0 dh okay and for this one is 0 ah now the value of the string is binary equivalent I may say EQ also. So let's say EQ. Make it simple. Okay. Now this is the end of the string. This is suggesting the end of the string. Very important to include. So don't forget. Now the, in the code part. Whatever we will be having. We will be first printing this string. To get the input. Okay. So for that first we have to get the access of data segment okay so data segment memory location is stored at here okay so we will be moving this location to the accumulator because by default accumulator is reading the things right so we read it in ax accumulator and then we are moving it to the data segment register because data segment register holds the address of the data segment so we are moving it to it the accumulator okay and then we are printing this string at this label okay so we are moving the data uh, from uh, from this input label to this DX register this DX register is to hold the value and uh, from the offset label this okay from this distance from this displacement okay now this value has been moved to dx now we have to call the interrupt to print this string so what is the value of that interrupt to print a string onto the uh, standard output it is 0 9h okay interrupt has been called to print your string to the standard output but it has to be handled now so int 21h is the interrupt dispatcher that is important and uh, we are using this ah over here 
because we are using int and int is associated with ah whenever you want to call an interrupt and you want to dispatch it using int 21h then you should be using ah and it's preferable now next move on to the next thing we have uh, printed this string here now we will be taking the input from the user so we will be reading a character and reading a character interrupt will, should be called then so what is the value of that interrupt 01h is to read a character from the standard input and this interrupt should be handled okay we have read it now it's read in uh, your accumulator and uh, whatever would be the character that you have entered from the keyboard like capital a or minus or plus or whatever thing is like six seven whatever the number you would be printed it's a sky code uh, it's equivalent a sky code would be there and it's a, a sky codes binary representation would get stored in the accumulator so it is of eight bits and uh, eight bits representation have been stored into your al register and you have the binary value of that sky character in your al register so what you will be doing you will be moving that al to this bl register and this bl register actually holds the result that is the binary value of your sky character now what we will be doing is that we will be now we have the value of the binary character binary equivalent binary equivalent now we have to print this and we have to then show the value of this bl so first of all we will be showing this string and for string representation we have this so let's copy and then let's paste now only the thing that has been changed over here is the label so we have output over here we are printing the output string okay we are printing the output string now we have printed it now what we have to do is that we have to do a shifting of this bl what does this bl have this bl has a binary uh, number binary form that is of 8 bits definitely now we have to print from the leftmost bit to the rightmost bit so we first need to fetch the leftmost bit okay like let me suppose let me say that this is the binary number okay this is the binary number i have to print it so first this value should be printed then this should be printed then this and then this and then we are moving to the right word right most bit right from the left most to the right most so first we should be fetching this value then this value and then this value so this way we are going to the right okay so we are fetching from left to the right so for this we should be shifting these values one by one to the left we should be shift it to the left so that it get out of it and we left with this this value then again shifting it from one place we left with this value and uh, this has been shifted so this way we will be doing it until and unless we reach to this eighth bit so we will be doing it up to eight times so what we will be doing we will be storing the number of times the times we will be doing the same thing in the counter register so we have stored it and now the other thing we will be doing is that we will be uh, making a section a loop section kind of thing to show to that will be having the steps that we will be performing again and again okay so it is a kind of loop section that will be for eight times okay uh, the first thing we will be doing in this is that since this bl has the result value we will be shifting it so let's shift it with uh, shl shl is shift okay shift left and uh, what are we about to be shifting we will be shifting bl and by how much one place only by one place so we will be shifting bl by one place now the next thing is if the leftmost bit was one then it is a carry that has been generated so if a carry generate then what should we be doing we should be printing this one 
if a carry is generated we should be printing one so if jump if carry generated so jc is jump if carry if there is some carry that means print it print one so we will be jumping onto this section otherwise we have this section that says print zero we may we may make this section or may not be make this section uh, if this line will not implement it then by default the code afterwards will implement it so we don't need this section actually but for your understanding i'm adding it so what will happen over here is that we will be moving our zero this is hexadecimal code for the equivalent sky code a sky code for 0 is 48 and uh, hexadecimal code for 0 is 30h so for the same sky character we have a sky code 48 and uh, hexadecimal code 30h so you can use any of them now after this now after moving this 0 to dl data register what we have to do we have to print it only if there is no carry generated then we are printing 0 since there is no carry generated in this section when we move on to this section no carry is generated only then we can move this place so now we will be printing we will be printing what whatever there is in the dl register now if in case it was one print one okay if it was one then what will happen we will be moving one in dl okay we will be moving one in dl and what is the corresponding hexadecimal code for the sky character one it is 31 h or you may say 49 sky code for one we have moved it now what we have to do we have to print it now for printing a character we have to call this interrupt and that has this value 0 to h is the interrupt code for calling this interrupt of printing a character onto the standard output and then basically we have to dispatcher we use this dispatcher so that event is executed interrupt is executed and this loop has been finished okay now other thing that we have over here is after this looping and all this we have to finish that we, we have to exit this program so for that we have to call this interrupt that is like the return thing you have in your main functions in c++ so here this is the return thing actually you get exit out of the program through this so you call this interrupt where you have the interrupt code for ch okay and then interrupt dispatcher is used and then you get to end the section this is the complete code for your uh, for your uh, complete sky to binary so let's run this code let's run this code part let me open the window for the DOS simulator so it's visible yes let me mount my C file my C drive mount c okay mesm i'm using mesm now c drive okay now mesm a to b dot asm okay and then i'm linking it to a to b and then i'm executing it let me take a so its equivalent uh, binary form has been printed over here you may calculate 65 uh, 65 it is 64 plus 1 that is 65 again let me call this function and uh, print the value of 1 and it should be 49 it should be 49 so this is your 16 this is your 32 and this is your 1 and when we add all these three values it is 49 actually so we got the correct binary representation and I hope it is clear for you let's let's also do it for zero it should be only 48 like these two bits should be represented and not this one so for zero it is representing 48 binary uh, binary form is correct and equivalent to 48 as code 
so i hope you must have uh, cleared your uh, you have got a uh, much clarity about this program if you do get some clarity and you liked this tutorial uh, i please appreciate the work and like this video thank you so much keep supporting